So like a retailer close to us here where I live, um, put a post on Insta, Facebook, Gram or something, I don't know, I'm not on there, Mrs Bear's on there, and um, advertising the fact that they got a, a, a box over in the shop which they just shove any old rubbish in there and, and try and knock them out as quickly as possible. Anyway, they've been sitting there for some time, put a thing out saying, does anybody want this for a tenner? And Mrs Bear said, do you want this for a tenner? Because she knows I like to buy worthless stuff. And I thought, well, do you know what? There, there might be something decent in there. Well, I say decent, it might be something amusing in there. I don't know. So I thought for a tenner, it's worth a go, isn't it? So what I've done is, is had the video, so I've bought a box of tat. And I expect it to be tat. Uh, I don't think we're going to be rummaging through these and finding any um, hidden gems or anything, put it that way. Uh, so, you know, if you like, tat tat your thing. Uh, this is, you've come to the right place. If you don't, then pff, see you again next time. So, this, it's uh, it, it's going to be a mess. There's like PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, there's Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, some DS stuff in there. Uh, there might be some loose discs in there, I think some Blu rays in there. And, and basically, at the end of the day, if there's nothing in there that's any good, one, it's going to go to the charity shop, or two, if I need any replacements or upgrades or whatever I've got them already, or the boxes, etc. Even just for that, it, it, it's something else. So it's, it's a bit of fun. I don't expect we're going to find a huge amount of excitement and stuff in there as well. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But there are some proper pickups, which I'm going to do now, which I've picked up recently. It's not all, it's not all dusty old crap. Well, that's probably sitting in the shop for a long time. Probably use dusty old crap, but anyway. Um, not the dusty old rubbish I usually do. So, um, I've got a couple of games I bought online, and I bought a game from Hidden Chest as well, which I'll show you. Uh, let's do the dusty old tapes. There's a couple of those to start with. Uh, this is on uh, the Commodore 64, and I think I've only got on the Spectrum on a compilation, so I thought I'd better nab it. And this is uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, this is the budget re-release rather than the uh, the uh, big box release. That's that's a little bit expensive. That's about fifteen quid for the proper cardboard. It's in the wrong case, and also uh, because it's in the wrong case, therefore it's got puncture wounds in the back of the inlay, which you can probably see there's a gap there, hole sticking out there. You see, I'm not really bothered about that. Cause it's going to go in the cupboard and probably get played once, and that'll be about it. But um, yeah, so it's the conversion of the uh, classic platform size scroller which is hard as nails but that was a quid I think it was I mean for a quid not going to turn my nails up at that one and then this one is the spectrum stuff um, this is a compilation now I've only got this on loose tape yeah I've, I've, I've got some loose tapes as well believe it or not uh, and, and this compilation I've always shied against because I'm never quite sure whether it's actually the full ticket there's no instructions with this but this cost me three quid and I thought well I can't really pass up three quid uh, this, this is giants which is going to be a US gold compilation. Uh, the game is the bottom there from uh, your left. Uh, Rolling Thunder Gold Link 2, 720, which is a skateboard park game. Uh, classic uh, arcade conversion of Outrun, although the conversion's not that great. And then California Games as well, which is a multiplayer sports game. Um, Rolling Thunder and 720 are arcade conversion. I'm not sure if they're Gorton 2 in the arcade. I think the original was Gorton anyway. No screenshots on the back to help you with, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, I'll show you the inside. Like I said, no instructions. Nice box, but no instructions on this one. Um, and those are the tapes there. Not an inlay. Now, you notice the top tape says Outrun. And then you may see the other tape there, which we won't, can't see what game's on, but it says 720, uh, Rolling Thunder, and Gorton 2. So where the hell's California Games? Is it on the back of Outrun? Um, I have absolutely no idea. I'm, 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 it could be. It could be on the back of Outrun, but of course there's no sticker on the back of Outrun. There's Outrun. There's no sticker on it. So I'm, I'm never quite sure when I bought this if it's a full ticket or not. I'm guessing it is. Uh, but again, it's another, you know, as somebody said the other day, you do like a compilation, don't you? I do like a compilation. And I, I think for three quid just with the instructions missing. I mean, let's face it, back in those days, the instructions were very much up for up, left for left, right for right, down for down, and occasionally up for jump, uh, and fire to shoot. And occasionally you might have to use a space bar. Yeah, you know, they're not overly complicated instructions, really. 
It's not like when you get Call of Duty nowadays and you've got to press this button, shoulder button for this and this trigger for this and this works this one and then this fires this off and this pulls the map up. Well, instead of got games with you know, more than three buttons on a control pad, that was it, I was out. And then this one here, which um, a couple of people may know what I'm talking about. A few weeks back, I was in um, uh, Black Country t shirts up by us talking to Paul. Uh, we had James Retro Import Game with us at the time, and Paul's wearing a T-shirt which which had got uh, this really obscure game on the front. I said, "That's that's a really obscure T-shirt to have a game of." And then James piped up, and he says, "Oh no, it's a really good game, mate. Ross, you've you got to get hold of that one. You've got to find it somewhere." So I've been, literally been searching everywhere. I've been out every single time since then, and I can't find this game. Well, I did find it yesterday, ironically. Not the greatest condition. There's no manual. There's no hang tab on it. I can give you an idea where we're going with it. Um, but I do like a golf game, which is what it is. So I picked up uh, Arnold Palmer's Tournament Golf on the Mega Drive, which is probably going to be absolutely irrelevant to 99.8% of the people who are watching this video, if anybody isn't watching at all. Uh, that's to confirm there's nothing in there. Um, but it's meant to be a, a very good golf game based on a Japanese one, I think, or something. Um, but I do like a good golf game, so... I've now that finally I found it. I literally walked into Hidden Chess yesterday within three seconds and went, Ah, Arnold Palmer's Golf. I've been looking for that for ages. I say ages, probably been about, I don't know, five weeks, something like that. So those are the pickups, those are the ones that actually physically cost me money. Nine quid altogether. Back to being last of the big spenders, which is good. I can't afford to be anything else. Right, so let's go through this box of tat. Uh, now this bar, this box of tat, I'll just show you very very quickly, is that, there we go, it's quite a decent size, yeah we might be here for some time, but I, I'm just literally going to put my hand in, I, 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 with all due respect to your integrity and not insulting your intelligence, I have not been through this, okay, I've seen glanced at the couple because it's impossible to carry a box without actually going ooh, but I thought the best thing to do is just for me to go grab something and see what it is. And then we can we can, we can we can judge the pain together. Like I said, if I've got them and they aren't upgrades, I'll go to the charity shop. If I need them, they'll go into the collection. Uh, if they're an upgrade of what I've already got, I'll change the box over. Whatever, I'll, I'll, you know, if they're no, you know, they're no good, and there's really no point in sticking them all the charity shop or there's duplicates. I'll I'll just you know take the cases and um, keep them spare. That's all. That's all it is for, you know. So you know, even for, you know, if they've got the PlayStation One games in there, which I know there are, and I've got them, even if I can, you know, pull a couple of cases together or something for the games I've got, or well, the games in complete, or the disc is knackered, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out together. Not that it's a particularly, um, it's going to be particularly exciting, right? Are we ready? Let's go. Uh, oh, it's a Blu-ray. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a PS4 game. And it's Destiny. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've got that. I'm pretty sure I've got Destiny. I haven't got my um, list in front of me. Um, have they turned the servers off on something like that? Isn't it? Like it's online any game anyway. Yes, it's, it's, it, I know. It, I know it's worth absolutely nothing, but there we go. So there's Destiny on the PlayStation 4. We're off to a good start. I think I've got this one as well. That's a 360 game. This is Battlefield 3, which was 199 somewhere. And there's no disc in it. There we go. So the good thing is there's a replacement. It's actually that's, that's not a bad one to match. It's, it's a it's a double one, a double caser. Uh, so uh, I shall keep that for a spare. That's good because I've got Battle Three, Field Three, the game anyway. So I should keep that handy. So it, it, it's going to be good, this, isn't it? Might give you an idea of what we're getting at. This one feels like an Xbox One game, and it is, and it's FIFA Twenty. This gives you an idea of where we're going. Uh, it's got the game in there. It's got the code in there. Just in case, <laughs> Coast still active. Uh, but I don't think about actually, to be fair, I haven't got this one. Um, not that I, I don't that I play a lot of FIFA, but I haven't got that one, so hooray! We have one in the collection. Move, put my hand over this side now, what have we got here? This again feels like a PlayStation 4. 
I'll just shove it up and then we can see what it all is together. It's Anthem, which looks like it's the foreign version as well. I've never played Anthem. No idea what it is. Unleash your power. Winning of 90 plus awards. Now, being a foreign game, I'm wondering whether that'll work. And it says Region 4 on the back, but I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to work or not. I haven't got it. So, we'll go back to the middle bit here. This is DS. I've got a DS game here. What do we reckon this is going to be? It's a DS game in a tap box. What's it going to be? Brain training. It's brain training. Yes. Who needs a copy of brain training who hasn't got one already? Everybody. No, I've definitely got brain training. I've definitely got it. So it's a replacement box. If you might, I can put some loose games in that actually. You might tidy that, to that, that one up a little bit. Yeah, I can tell you're all, you're all absolutely sat on the edge of your seats on this one. Now, this doesn't feel like a game at all. This feels like it's in a slipcase of some variety. Ah. Karate Kid the Movies on DVD. I've got a feeling Mrs Bear might be interested in this. She does like the Karate Kid. I can't stand the Karate Kid. The Karate Kid movies, is there anything in here? Oh yes there is, yeah. We've got the Karate Kid Special Edition, the Karate Kid 2, Karate Kid 3 and the next Karate Kid. All in there. An advertisement for the uh, remake with Jackie Chan that came out. Well, I didn't know there were going to be any, any uh, DVDs in there. So, um, so I, thought, you know, I wasn't overly keen on the first one and I think the second one was very much a remake of the first one uh, I didn't couldn't get into I think she, Mrs Bear watched Cobra Kai um, but I couldn't get into that so I'll put that down there because that might be worth keeping that one we might keep that one we might keep that one next up Project Gotham Racing 3 which I do have but a fine racing game as it is if you've never played Project Gotham Racing, uh, four games all together on the Xbox 360. Very, very good games. Sorry, four, four games. Four games on the Xbox. Xbox Original, Xbox 360. Very, very fine games. Before Forza came along and, and basically changed the... Uh, and before people say, oh yeah, Forza, Forza was already out. Yeah, I know Forza, just, you know, Forza took over from that. And that was it. Ooh. Winter, Olymp Winter Olympics Vancouver 2010. I don't think I've got that. My God, this has got so many stickers on it. It's been trained in that, that many times. Look at that. Yellow sticker, yellow sticker. Look at the back here, the old game stickers on the back of that. There you go. No wonder that was there. Uh... For a game that's been traded that many times, it's practically untouched. <laughs> it's got the, uh, got the old manuals and stuff in it. But yeah, so... Um... Oh, that's good. That's a bonus. I ain't got that one. See? There we go. It's a win. It's a win already. Is it? Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, then we've got FIFA 17 on the Xbox One. This is the Deluxe Edition, which cost a quid. And I haven't got that one. Uh, it's all, all the bumps in there anyway. It's FIFA. Yep, yeah, I know. It's worth nothing. I mean, there's no point in trying to trade it in, is there? So, might as well keep it. Might as well keep it. Go to the front here. Right, this feels like a PlayStation 1 box. And we have Premier Manager 2000. Now, I have got some Premier Manager games for um, the PlayStation 1. It might be 2001. No manual, but the disc is there, so it is complete-ish. Um, there's a giant crack in the front of it. That's not a problem, because I might have a replacement. You can't see it, there's a crack. Um, but yeah, so football management game on the PlayStation 1. Never particularly keen on anything that wasn't Championship Manager being on the console, but that actually might be another win as well. That might be a win, that one. Yeah, yeah, we're we getting on. Feels a bit thick. Ah, PlayStation 2, World at Snooker 2002. Now, these games were pretty good, to be honest with you. I remember playing... Uh, some of the PlayStation 1 games, and they were really quite good. 
not sure if I've got that. I can't quite tell because my... Uh, I don't think I've got that one. World, 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 world. No, I haven't got that. Oh, have I? No, I haven't. Ah, there we go. That's another one from my collection then. World Snooker 2002. I don't own it. There are quite a few snooker games. So, uh, there's a win. <laughs> you won? Yeah, I, I, I class that as a win. I do. Uh, let's go PlayStation 3, so I can see the top of the box here and see what this is. This is Sockum. <laughs> Sock it to him. Sockum Confrontation. Online multiplayer only. Ah, well, there you go. So that's not going to work. That may be a box to keep. Yes. Online multiplayer only. So I don't think that's going to work. But that might just be a donation for a, a donor box. Which is fine because the box is in good condition. So if the thing's no good, then that's fine. With the win. No point in giving that away. There's no point in giving away something which doesn't work, is it, really? You know? Uh, Tiger Woods PGA 2004. We do like a good Tiger Woods game. I said earlier, I like my golf stuff. Uh, I've got plenty of Tiger Woods games, and I'm just trying to see if I've got that one. It's just obscured by a piece of cardboard. I haven't got many Tiger Woods games, uh, but I do have that one, sadly. Ah, that's a shame. So I'll see if it's, I'll see if it's an upgrade. Uh, if not, I shall donate it to a charity shop. It's all complete anyway. If anybody wants a copy of Tiger Woods 2004, let me know. Very welcome to have it. Shame that. I've got quite a few of the Tiger Woods games, but I haven't got the complete set. Not that I want a complete set of Tiger Woods games, it's just that it'd be nice to have it. Uh, next up is FIFA 11 on the 360. Can't tell if I've got that or not. It's all complete. Cases of No, cases are alright. Might be a donor case, might be a might be a donor case, might be an upgrade on what I've already got. So I told it'd be nothing special. Honestly, I didn't even wish through this. Uh, FIFA 18. Now I do know I've got that because that came with the uh, PlayStation 4 that I got originally. It's all complete on the inside. Just in case anybody wants to. There we go. FIFA 18, but yes, I've got that one, so that uh, probably will be uh, donated or an upgrade. See, so what, yeah, that's why it's a tap box. We're I mean, getting a lot of plastic here for your money. Uh, motion Sports, Play for Real, Xbox 360 Connect. I do have that one as well. So again, I'll check to see if it's an upgrade. If not, it goes to the Chazers. Yeah. The familiar sound of pulling sellotape off a box. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? It's a bit rubbish, but what did you expect? And uh, get high class quality entertainment here, do we? 41 2011. Ah, mm, not sure. Not sure. I, I have a couple of the F1 games. Um, I'm just wondering whether I have this one or not. I don't know. It's all complete. And again, Fine, fine games, the Codemasters, um, this is Codemasters, yeah. Fine games, the Formula 1 games, very good. I do like a good racer. So uh, I don't think there's too much wrong with that. Eh? What's up next? Yeah, I haven't got this one. NBA 2K16. Starring uh, Steph Curry, Anthony Davis, uh, James Harden, and, fe and featuring a Spike Lee joint. Be the story. I haven't got that one. That case is a bit tatty, so that might get upgraded. It does, actually, it does actually have the instructions, which have been folded up for some reason. Is it the instructions, or is it just... Well, that's just a little sticker type thing. Manual's gone. If there was a manual there, that's gone, but at least that's in there. Disc is there. Ah, well, there we go. That's a bonus. Don't have that one. I don't mind sports games. People, you know, I, I do not mind sports games. I said before, I don't like them. Uh, EA Sports Active 2 which I think will require all the stuff to go with it, which I don't have. Um, although I do have them for the... I have them for the Wii. Were they, were they work with the Wii stuff? Mm, don't know. I've got some EA active kit available, so... Uh, Agents Mayhem. Uh, yep, yeah, legal action pending. 
I, I've, I've heard about this game, but I've never actually seen it or played it. So it's always usually very, very cheap. So again, if it's one of these games which is, I don't know, costs nothing and is absolute rubbish, then that's a bonus, isn't it, really? Don't know, don't know. Tell me, tell me, tell me about some of this stuff, please, because I have absolutely no idea. Another copy of Anthem. Hey! Um, although that looks like it's the Polish version. Yes, yeah, a Pol Polish version. So anybody in Poland wants a copy of Anthem, uh, do let me know. It is Polish. I've got the British and Polish version now. Uh, this is actually sealed. Uh, this is The Fast and the Furious, and this is the original film. There we go. I say sealed, it's a f strange sort of sealing package, isn't it? Now that's the one I called with Paul Walker and Vin Diesel in it. There's a film there, so another film. That probably uh, will go into our film collection. So we didn't do too bad, haven't we? We ain't done too bad out of that. We don't mind a film. What have we got next? Uh, FIFA 14 on the 360. Again, I can't tell you if I've got this or not. So uh, it's all there. We've all seen the back of a FIFA box before. So if you were, gonna, you were sitting at home and saying it's all going to be FIFA, isn't it? Then congratulations, you won the prize. Um, now, Lords of the Fallen, the soundtrack. Yeah, what's that from? No idea. No idea. But if you are missing Lords of the Fallen soundtrack, let me know. Because I have absolutely no idea what that is. No idea. DS. I know it's DS because I can tell by the case. What do we reckon this is going to be? It's another brain training game. No way. Yeah, another brain training game. You can't stick them in the charity shops. Be stuck with them for ages. Just use the cases or something else. What's about? Pay ten quid for this. But there's some stuff here I want. FIFA 18 on the Xbox One, which I've already got on the PlayStation 4. Why not? Why not indeed? I think that was 20p from cash converters. Got a 20p sticker in it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, no, I won't show you the back of that because I've already showed you that on the uh, PlayStation 4. But... Worst case scenario, it becomes a donor case. FIFA 17 on the PlayStation 4. Have we seen that? We have. And I believe we've seen that on the 360. So there is the. Uh, again, it's all there. There it is all there, that'll go on the old, uh, on the old shelf. Ooh, now we've got a loose disc here, I know what's in this one. Ooh, there we go. Copy of Theme Park on the PlayStation 1. I think I have Theme Park actually. So I'll check the disc, see if there's any better than mine. Yeah, in a loose disc, now what we got here. Uh, ooh. Empty box. Oh, another DS box, what have we got here? Oh, now we've got three games in here. That's interesting. So I've got a plastic box and I've got three games. Are they all brain training? No. One of them is. Actually, no, two of them are. <laughs> two brain training. But I have got here um, Guitar Hero on Tour, which I haven't got. So I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I'm going to keep my Guitar Hero. There we go. That's another bonus, isn't it? So I shall keep Guitar Hero on tour in there. And then... Um, it's not the best case in the world, is it, this one? Not the best case. But we'll keep that and we'll get rid of them too, because I've already got plenty of them. Right, what we got down here? Another PlayStation 4 game. This is NBA 2K15. I've already got 2K16 earlier, so that's good. And that has got my manual with it. So these will go on to the uh, increasing the number of PlayStation 4 games I've got by nearly double the amount I've already had. Uh, iToy Play, yeah, I've got that one. So again, this will just be see if there's an upgrade on it. If not, 
again probably chuck that out some of this might get chucked actually because there isn't much of the point in donating to charity shop because I can't see anybody not having these things. Uh, Starlink. Now that's an interesting one because don't you need the um, the uh, what's this to go with that? The toys. Uh, I don't know. It, yeah, this is not for resale, so I may need the toys for that. But even so. I can have a look into it. I thought they would, they would, they would be quite collectible though. This sounds like it feels like it's a single thing. Uh, this is a PC game, isn't it? Grand Prix Legends. PC game. That probably will end up going into the uh, the tap box for the Black Country Game Fair, I think. Yes. Some of this may end up in there, actually. Some of it may end up in there. It's probably a good place to stick it. Uh, PlayStation 3, I think. Yep, black case, FIFA 08. So this is a replacement case for it. Might be worth keeping it. Yeah, we'll see FIFA 08 before. Not very exciting. Not very exciting. We threw some of these here. We've got FIFA 15 on the PlayStation 4. I may have all the FIFA games by the end of this. We'll wait to get him in it. We'll wait to get him. Another. DS game, this is Pictionary. Uh, it feels like it hasn't got a manual. No, the manual's there, and it's and the game's there. I haven't got that. Woohoo, so that's gonna go into the collection. What a terrible game. Pictionary. There we go. I'll go uh, straight into the uh, the collection. No hesitation on that one. What have we got here? Another um PlayStation 1 game. This is uh, Premier League, FA Premier League Football Manager 2000. I don't think I've got that either. Uh, it's missing the front cover, but it does actually have the back cover. I think I've got Premier League Stars, but I don't think I've got that one. Oh well, there we go. That's bonus again. See? A couple of things going in. Most things probably going to end up in the bin. FIFA 13 on the 360. Probably got that one. Yep, P for 30. It's all there anyway. I'm going to pad my collection out with FIFA's probably. Probably. This seal's quite heavy. What the hell is this? This is Star Wars Empire at War. This is on the PC. Wow. No wonder it's so heavy. Jesus, that manual. Got like a size of that. Wow, but it's got everything in it. It's got, look, it's got the map as well. Again, anybody who, who sees this, uh, let me know. I'm not sure there's much value in this one. But I think it was a big box, maybe there would be, but uh, yeah, a couple of PC games. Yeah, they'll go with the tap box downstairs. Uh, I've got about 10 to go. Uh, broken box is FIFA 10, so that's probably going to get chucked in the bin. Although the broken bits of box are there. How the hell that happen? Uh, yeah, FIFA 10. Loose disc. Gears of War. Surely there can't be anybody hasn't got a copy of Gears of War. That's Gears of War 2. So again, I will just say if this is a better copy than mine. If not, tap the box it goes. This is another DS game. I wonder what this could be. Don't know. <laughs> we were all expecting brain training, weren't we? No, this is Spellbound. Spellbound. Which I don't have. Now, if it's a puzzle game, I will probably keep that. Hmm. And it's, it's a tappy box, so I might be able to get the box of that one. So I've actually got three DS games out of this so far. That's not too bad, is it, really? Uh, it wasn't a great bargain to start with. This is taking forever. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Don't don't worry. Don't panic. We're nearly there. What have we got left? Loose discs. We've got FIFA 18 on the PlayStation 4, which I've already got. That's the third, second copy of that in there. This one I haven't got, though. Uh, UFC 3 on the Xbox One. That's good. 
this looks in good condition. I've got a spare box to stick it in there. Have a quick look at that. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah. Well, there we go. I mean, that's a, it's not a FIFA game, is it? Bonus. What have we got here? I've got another one of these. Anybody else want another Legends Lords of the Fallen soundtrack? I've got two. This is the PSP case. What is this? PSP. Yeah. Buzz the Master Quiz. That's interesting. I've got some PSP stuff down there. Just bear with me. Because it might be the case. Ah, I've already got it. Yeah, damn. So that'll go in the tap box. Yeah, shame. Shame, shame, shame. I've already got that one. What's this? This is onside soccer in the back of a, a Queen's Greatest Hits <laughs> CD case. <laughs> oh my god, I've already got onside. This isn't a uh, fingered. Pardon the expression. Um, I'll have to see if it's better than my copy, but yeah. Uh, we got another DS game, another copy of Brain Training. You've never seen so many brain training copies in a video in your entire life, have you? Um, this is absolutely, we've got six here, haven't we? Two loose and three boxed, but the boxes will be kept. So, there you go. Look, you pay 10 quid for a box of tat, you get exactly what it is on the tin, don't you? Another copy of the Fast and the Furious, the original. Anybody want a copy of the Fast and the Furious on Blu-ray, let me know. I have two copies. Uh, two to go, I believe. Yeah. What have we got? Uh, we've got uh, Dance UK on PlayStation 1, which I already have. It's missing the manual. But that's got the disc again. I'll just see if it's an upgrade. Oh, what's this here? Hmm. Oh dear. That didn't sound good. Put the loose bits in here as well. What's this? Got loads of loose bits in here. Right, what have we got? Oh man. So we got uh, Player Manager on the PlayStation 1. Now I'm not sure if I've got that or not. It's got the manual. It's missing the front cover. Um, but again, with what I've got there, I could probably combine that. I think that disc is alright. Yeah. So I could probably could make a good copy out of that. I mean, what PlayStation 1 games go for? A couple of three quid? I made me money back. Uh, we've got FIFA 19 on the PlayStation 4 without a box. Uh, I don't think that was in there. I think we've got, six, 50, we've got 16, 17, 18 and 20. Well, I don't think 19 was in there. That's good. We've got... PlayStation, good grief, All-Star Soccer on the PlayStation 1. Anybody know anything about that one? I've never heard of that at all from ADOS. Property of Choices Video. Well, they may want it back at some point. I've never even heard of that one. There we go. Bonus. And then the last thing, the last thing we have in the tap box is a copy of, on the PlayStation 1, Again, not a game I've got. Uh, Star Trek Invasion. So again, not got a copy of that. So that's a loose box. And that is, that is the end of the box. The box is now officially empty. So, yeah, it's exactly what it said it was in the tin. It's a box of tat. But, uh, there's, 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 there's a few things in there I should be keeping, certainly. Again, I'll be checking on box upgrades and, and whatever, and... Uh, things like that. I mean, yeah, some DS games there I haven't got. So we've got uh, Rock Band, so Guitar Hero, we've got uh, Spellbound, and uh, there was another one in there as well, so I can't remember what it was called now. Um, but we'll keep those. Uh, a couple of the 360 FIFAs may be needed. Uh, Vancouver 2010 certainly I haven't got, so that's a, a decent one. I think the PlayStation 3, I'll check on FIFA, sorry, Formula 1 2011. 
I think all those I've got. Uh, World Snooker 2002, the PlayStation 2. I should keep that. Uh, whether I should keep Anthem or not, I don't know. I may keep some of the FIFA games on PlayStation 4. Uh, the Xbox One, yeah, UFC and the FIFA stuff. Starlink I'll keep as well. So maybe they'll find the bits and pieces for that. And yeah, the PlayStation stuff, one stuff was quite interesting. Premier Manager 2000, uh, Premier League Manager 2000, Premier Ma Player Manager. And then there's two last games, All-Star Soccer and Star Trek Invasion. Again, games I haven't got. Um, yeah, so it was a bit of a mixed bag, and, and some films, well, I've exactly got a copy of The Fast and the Furious, and uh, the Karate Kid collection on, on DVD, so, on the whole, I think for 10 quid, it's about right, isn't it? <laughs> it's a balance, I think, even the boxes that I'll keep, I mean, you know, there's no point in flooding charity shops with FIFAs, is there, there really isn't, so I think most of this will end up in the, in, in the bin, but uh, I'll keep the good bits swap out the good bits. I mean, most of this stuff actually, apart from that one PlayStation 3 case, which is obliterated, is actually, in the, the cases are, I don't know the PlayStation 1, but I think I've got enough to make copies of those. Generally speaking, pretty good condition. Um, so I can definitely uh, swap some cases in there and just, just tidy a few things up a bit, you know. Again, the, the iPlayer, for example, the iToy thing, I mean, the box on that is pretty good. So I will just get put that get a find a, find a crap box off which I've got quite a few, and and change that for a good one. Same with Tiger Woods probably as well. But if you've seen any of that and you, and I haven't said I'm having this, you want it? Let me know. Particularly that soundtrack. You might need that for a, you know what is it, Lords of the Fallen. I didn't even know that. I don't even know what it is. Um, well, I've got two copies of that. There we go. Yeah, sorry it wasn't very interesting, just man showing old sh sure wear out of a box, but there you go, that's all I've got to do at the moment. Hope you've enjoyed that, thanks very much indeed for watching, and um, if you were watching, um, anybody does, and um, I'll see you again soon. Till then, take care, bye for now.